What's going on you guys? Welcome to The Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not The Single Guy. So today we are gonna be talking about the five worst text messages to send a girl. Now, context is everything. You can send some of these text messages and get away with it. It's fine, especially if you're seeing this girl consistently or in a relationship with her. I'm sure some of these messages would be okay for that. But if you're in the dating phase and you send these messages consistently, do not expect to hear from this girl again. So we're gonna go through everything one by one. Uh, they are ranked no particular order. Uh, let's start with the first one. Good morning, okay? If you're sending good morning texts to this girl again and again, don't expect to hear from her for very long. It's a weird, needy, kind of like nothing text to send. Uh, it might sound cutesy at first. She might even think she likes it at first. But if you send it a, a two or three times, uh, she's gonna think this guy is not the guy that I'm looking for. I mean, come on guys, you can do better. Also, this goes if you're saying things like happy Monday or just these nothing messages that you send in the morning. <laughs> it just makes you look bad, dude. I, I, I wouldn't send that. Yeah, sure, if you're in a relationship or she really likes you. You know, sending her a good morning text every once in a while is great. You know, I'll even send that to a girl that I'm seeing. But if you're sending this again to a girl that you just started dating, come on, man. There are better things to send than that. Thing two is I love you. Or it doesn't have to exactly be I love you. It can be like I really like you. I think I'm falling for you. Uh, all of those things. If you're saying that really early on, dude, that is not the right move. And typically what I notice is that what a lot of guys will do is they'll say this from a place of scarcity. If they feel like they're losing the girl, if they're feeling really needy, they'll send this message. And guess what? It comes off as needy if you send it in these circumstances. What you want to do is if you do really like a person and there's been some time there for you to actually form formulate feelings like, you know what? I like this girl, like this girl's cool. I enjoy hanging out with her. She's got cool interests. We have fun together, you know? If you come from a place of strength and you say that, that's a great thing to send, but not from a place of weakness, especially when the guy feels like they're losing them. They do this thing called love bombing, which is where they just declare their feelings. And then it, it's actually pretty manipulative and messed up. Like it, it can actually keep the girl around for a little bit longer because there's some drama there. And there's like, you know, then she starts thinking, well, maybe I do really like him. Like guys haven't declared their feelings for me, okay? Don't do this. It's really messed up if you do this. And on top of that, it's not going to keep the girl around for a very long time. She's going to realize you're weird, psychotic, and uh, ultimately super needy. It's just not a good place to be. I wouldn't send that message. Text message number three, why are you not responding? If you have this text message, you're probably sending it because the girl's either ghosting you, you're being too needy, um, or there's just something else happening where she ha you have to feel like she responds to you right this instant, okay? It's never a good thing to be demanding that a girl responds to you, all right? It just, not, it just doesn't put you in a good place. Now, there might be a chance where it's an urgent thing that you have to contact her. Maybe um, she's in trouble or something like that, and you know, you really want to, you really need to make sure that she's okay. Okay, maybe that's, there's a circumstance where that might be okay, but that would probably be something more for a relationship relationship where there's some established connection between you guys. If it's really early on, the only reason why you're sending, why are you not responding is from a selfish place, okay? Don't be selfish. You're telling this girl that you're needy, you're selfish, and you're probably not a person that she wants to see consistently or even hook up with. Thing number four is, hey, you up? Or just, hey. Okay, any of these like messages, you're probably sending this when you're drunk, you're probably sending this when you know, you're on a dating app and you're just being lazy and you can't think of anything to say. I mean, come on, like that's basically, if you send a message where you're putting low investment into it, uh, not a, a whole amount of time, basically no thought, and you're just seeing if they're up so you know, they can you know, hook up or have sex with you, or if they'll respond to your message, you're telling her, hey, listen, I kind of whatever, whatever's about you and I'm not going to really put much effort into this and it's sending a completely horrible message. If you can't, if, if the only message that you can send is a hey or what's up or you up, don't send anything at all. Okay, and the fifth and final worst text message you can send a girl is a dick pic. <laughs> I am continually confused about why this is such a big thing and why men continue to do it in the first place. Look. Man, I've sent my dick to a number of different lovely ladies, but it was by request and after we had already been sleeping together for a certain amount of time. If you're doing this to a woman that you haven't slept with or haven't even met up with, that's creepy, that's weird, don't ever do it, all right? There's not a single reason why you would be doing that unless to get a crazy weird reaction out of her and just like to mess with women, okay? It's, it's messed up, it's disrespectful. I, I just don't think I really need to beat this dead horse anymore. Don't do it.
All right, so those are the five worst text messages that you can send a girl. Obviously, there are equally bad messages that I could probably could have listed here, but those are the five main ones that I've seen with my clients, with my viewers in my channel. Uh, and if you find yourself doing any one of these five, I'd recommend that you stop immediately. And if you think of any more that I could have included but didn't include in this video, please put them in the comment section below. I'd love to get a discussion about this. And ladies, if you're watching this channel, I know a lot of women watch my channel too, put some down that you get from men that you hate as well. I'd love to hear your opinions about this too. All right, thanks you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. And if you're interested in personal coaching, there's a form down below, please fill it out. And if you're a good fit, we'll reach back out to you. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.